I don't want to have kids. Oh my god. Again, feminine. That's so interesting. They're like, no, we're liberating. I want to have kids because they're, they're so annoying. Have you ever hung out with them? They're always like, I want food. I want light. Like, shut up, Harry Potter. Back into the stairs. <laughs> I know, because I have like five toddler nephews, and I went to their birthday party recently. They all got plastic lightsabers marked man. And they beat me so hard, you would have thought I was filled with candy. So, while they're pummeling me, I'm just like, yeah, no, I don't want to make these things ever. Better take some preventative measures. So ever since that day, I've been wearing the tightest, snuggiest briefs I can find. And I spend an hour every day sitting in the hot tub of my gym, boiling those boys down. Kill the gametes, people. That's my mission. I am poor. I can't afford a vasectomy. I need to kind of like do it yourself. All my guy friends, they want kids. They're always like, oh my god, I have to wear boxers. I'm like, oh my god, I need to stand next to the microwave, fry these things. I'm serious. I will do whatever it takes. Like, I'm going to the dentist tomorrow for a toothache. <laughs> I'm fucking falling apart. Um, when my dentist leaves the room for the x-ray, I'm moving the machine. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, I'll stand by this step. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. I just don't want that x-ray getting developed. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't want my dentist going, mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> Well, here's what's causing all the problems. Look what's in your mouth! <laughs> now, I'm not exactly sure how they got there. I don't judge. I don't. What concerns me is that they're still there. You need to floss. More. Yes? I don't want kids. I was thinking about getting a cat. Went to a cat show recently. Because that's actually what you do when you have a girlfriend. Whatever she says you do. Yes, that's right. That's how you that's how you keep getting it. Follow orders. It's the truth. So I went to a cat show. I saw one of those cats from Egypt called the Sphinx. No fur. Just skin. Oh, fat cat. He's a cat, but he looks like a rat. He must get he must get confused. I bet he sees himself in a mirror and he's like, rat! No! Okay, you tricky rat! I was like, oh my god, this cat is not tough. We need to toughen this cat up. And if you've got a cat that's nothing but skin, the way to toughen him up, give him tattoos. <laughs> that's right. Big catnip leaf right there on his chest. Then down on his leg, life number one, crossed out. Life number two, crossed out. Life number three, crossed out. All the way up to nine. Something like, I love pussy on his shoulder. Oh he loves other cats. He loves it. Yes. I like animals. I do. I like, I like, I like animal specials, although they're changed. When I was a little kid, they were always happy. Like, you turn on channel 13, it'd be like, the gorilla. The end. Now they're kind of sad. Now it's always, there's always that moment in the special where they go, the three-toed lemur has many predators. The giant eagle, the savage panther, but the greatest threat to the three-toed lemur is man. And then they have that montage where they show how we are just screwing over the three-toed lemur. Like, you see three-toed lemur island and an oil tanker just runs aground and burns crude oil everywhere. And you see this lumber company just chopping down trees as fast as they can. And then you see a lemur scampering through the jungle and these frat boys jump out and they're like, yo lemur, what's up dude? And they knock the school books out of his hands and they're like, say hi! And they jump back in the woods. And then you see a lemur, he's on a date, and the girl's like, um, I just want to be friends. And then you see a lemur, he's on an interview, and the guy just goes, uh, we just gave the job to my less qualified nephew. And then you see the lemur come out to his car, and the window's smashed, and his radio's gone, and he's like, 
which is Lemur for my radio. So like that just makes me so sad. They, nature specials have changed. And like this too makes me really sad. Did you guys know that they changed Cookie Monster? vegetables now. Yes. It's so amazing when people don't know and they find out. They're just like, what? How can they do that? Is that done by Congress? He has to eat fruits and vegetables and less cookies. Why? Because he's a bad role model and America's kids are getting fat. Yeah. That makes no sense. Because remember Cookie Monster? He doesn't actually eat the cookies. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't have an esophagus. The cookies are just ground up in his mouth during the bacchanalia of cookie enjoyment, and then they spill on the floor. If Cookie Monster is your role model for eating, you will starve to death and have a very messy kitchen. It's horrible, right? Because they tampered with our childhood the way they changed him isn't gonna like solve America's childhood obesity epidemic, no. Cause like, let's face facts, if you wanna motivate little kids to eat right, exercise, and lose weight, you don't need a monster that eats fruits and vegetables. You need a monster that eats fat kids. <laughs> Scare those chubbers straight, that's what I say. That would be the best episode of Sesame Street ever. This little plump kid like, Hey, Cookie Monster! What's your name? My name's Billy! <laughs> oh, God! With her coffee! Oh, God! That would work. Because all the fat kids would be terrified. They'd be running from their TV sets. But at least they're running. At least they're running. You guys have been great. Thanks a lot.